Now, I have no idea how this video is going to go, but it was a very cool idea from one of you guys that told me to retire every single X Factor in the game and see what happens. So that's exactly what we did. Look at Micah Parsons. Probably the biggest what if, if this was actually real, because he would have had a crazy rookie season and then abruptly retired. But yeah, every single X Factor, no matter the position, is now a punter and is now out the league. So there's going to be a, a huge hole in the league and a chance for someone else to step up. Like, imagine not having to go through the Brady's, the Mahomes, even the Josh Allen's. There's so much potential for every single player that's not an X Factor. But first, here's a word from our sponsor. Did you guys know that the fastest growing crime in America is actually identity theft? Yes, there's a new victim every 14 seconds. It happened to my friend, my buddy, NTE last year, man. He got his identity stolen and it really sucked being on the sidelines, not being able to help because I didn't have the right resources. None of us did. But that's why I'm excited today to announce my partnership with today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. You might have one of these services already, but if you don't have all the tools, it is like locking the front door, but leaving the back door wide open. Those who've had the identity stolen are often shocked when it happens. Like imagine trying to log into your email account one day, only to see that the password had changed hours ago. And then you start getting notifications of activity from your bank, credit card, you start freaking out. And that's scary and unfortunate reality for too many people. Thankfully, Aura monitors the dark web for emails, passwords, and social security numbers and sends alerts fast right to your phone and email. So here I am on the Aura website. I've made a profile and this is the alerts. This is in the top right where you're gonna see how many passwords, anything that has been compromised, you'll find it here. So they found two different websites where my passwords are compromised. I clicked this instantly and I made sure to change those passwords. So please go ahead and protect yourself and your family from identity theft at aura.com slash ckbirds. Also will be linked in the description. And if you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link so you can see for yourself how many times Aura finds you or your family members personal info on the dark web. And if you sign up, let me know in the comments below if your personal information has been compromised. You won't regret checking. It takes like five minutes and it's free, so why not? Now, as you can see, the highest overall players in the league are still linemen because of course, EA only gives them superstar. So everyone's O-line is still really good or as good as it has been now. The highest non-lineman is Buda Baker. So you can see defense is gonna come into play. Running games are gonna come into play. Joe Mixon now, the highest offensive skill position player that is not a lineman, Jonathan Allen in there. So that was all positions. Now, if we just look at quarterback, Joe Burrow is now the highest overall player in that's crazy. Justin Herbert, he's going to make an appearance in, in a series that I'm working on. Just wait on that one, man. You have a Super Bowl MVP, Matt Stafford. Could we see a dynasty now? Now he does not have to worry about, you know, Brady and NFC, Rodgers. The NFC is a clear path for him to go back, back, back. We're doing three seasons in this simulation. So like the video for that, man. It's going to be a longer video than usual because I'm curious what happens. Who takes the next step? Will a rookie like Justin Fields in his second or third season make a run? Like the playoffs are going to be crazy. Let's just see what happens, man. Let's simulate season one can you believe chad henney at a 65 overall got the chiefs to a 12 and 5 record here in the third seed behind the dolphins and the Bengals. joe burrow leading his team to one seed lawrence and the jaguars you have the broncos the browns and then the jets look at zach wilson making the playoffs the Bills struggled no allen means no playoffs herbert didn't make the playoffs this game doo -doo. wow that is a lackluster performance in his first season without all those studs in the afc that's crazy ravens i mean come on nobody's surprised they lost a former unanimous MVP. The Cowboys still had most of their players intact. Now, I don't think they had that. Yep, no Dak, but they still had Zeke. So the run game was going stupid. Him and Pollard. Packers, of course, with no Rodgers. Jordan Love looking good. Jalen Hurts looking good. Okay, a Mariota sighting in the playoffs. You love to see it. I'm happy for the Seahawks, man. I'm glad they made the playoffs. The Bucks without Tom Brady and then the Commanders with Carson Wentz. So we have multiple NFC East teams, three NFC East teams making the playoffs. You can't say you're too surprised about the Rams now. They lost so many players. They lost Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Wagner. So, yeah, they, I'm not too surprised, but they barely miss out. 
The Saints don't make Niners. Debo's only superstar. I know they lost Kittle. The story of Herbert's career so far. I mean, come on now. Look at this. He leads the league in passing yards. Now, granted, he did throw 18 interceptions. Okay, so you know he was missing Keenan Allen quite a little bit. Look at Chad Henney, Jesus bro. That playbook Christ. is insane. That Kansas City playbook is crazy. But hopefully, there's less emphasis on playbooks. Or I don't know. Maybe there shouldn't be. I, you guys tell me. So it's, I'm conflicted because when you're doing you know simulations and stuff, first of all, you don't usually see someone throw 29 interceptions tyler huntley you let me down man I, i'm a huge fan of tyler huntley i think he's gonna be really good in real life i think he should be starting somewhere at least get the opportunity he's better than certain guys but he and he had the best complete percentage of all people that qualified but yeah he's definitely slept on but around the league when you had hurts in the top five of passing yards along with henny jordan love surprised me and then kyle trash you can just guarantee either a buck or kansas city quarterback is going to be in the top two for touchdowns and passing yards man deshaun watson stepping up see browns might have a chance in the playoffs man it's gonna come down to which quarterback can rise above the other one Carson Wentz squeezing the top 10 for passing touchdowns Stafford didn't have a lot of yards he was missing Cooper now Zeke led everybody in rushing 1881 yards had the most touchdowns just phenomenal season no fumbles Kareem Hunt James Robinson Javante say quads with a nice bounce back season 1784 yards big reason why they made the playoffs Joe Mixon and the Bengals are looking good Calvin Ridley low-key you know not supposed to be here he got suspended but who cares he's not an x-factor so we counted the man godwin went bonkers okay michael thomas doing what he does getting a lot of catches a lot of yards Devonte yes, into the top 10 along with mooney you love to see these young guys stepping up and filling that void that was left by uh you know all these great wide receivers t higgins 13 touchdowns gallup was galloping his way into a top five performance at the wide receiver position and then you can see multiple guys had more than 100 receptions look at evan ingram could he now be a top five maybe top three tight end if there's no other elite tight ends he, he's one of the best like him and Joe Everett had phenomenal seasons you have guys like Charlie Warner with the craziest way of spelling Warner I've ever seen having a phenomenal season now as for defense Devin White led the entire league in tackling and wasn't even close Jayon Brown was a good 24 behind him Miles Jack Willie Gay and Zalone Quentin Williams now arguably the best D tackle or one of the best in the league then you have Rashawn Gary leading the league with 16 and a half sacks lackluster numbers not gonna lie like that's really good for him really good for clowny but we're used to seeing like 20 something from donald tj watt garrett so you know our, the counting stats well i was gonna say they're bad but jesus christ kenny moore eight interceptions justin reed was seven arguably the best safety this year kenny moore being arguably the best cornerback in the league marshawn Lattimore, isaiah finally his stats reflect what he should be doing man he's one of the best users zeke wins mvp that is insane that'll be the first running back to win mvp i think since adrian peterson if i'm not mistaken he had two Bengals in the top three yo they have to be the favorite right now they just have to be that's an insane season opoi makes an dpoi to devion Kleine. i want to look at kicker i don't know why <laughs> chris boswell right there from the steelers ryan suck up wins it wow why am i so focused on kickers I don't know. Now, granted, Suck Up went 12 for 12, but he kicked half as many kicks as Young Way Koo. And, and Koo only missed two more, bro. I, I, it's rigged. But of course, the most important thing is the playoffs. And Zach Wilson gets his first playoff victory against the Dolphins. The Chiefs and Chad Henney losing the wild card against the Browns and then the Broncos. This is multiple videos where they've now made decent runs in the playoffs with Brett Ripien leading the way meanwhile on the nfc side mariota and the falcons beat the commanders you have the packers beat the buccaneers jordan love having a great season and then jalen hurts and the eagles 35 to 14 over the seahawks getting revenge for what Clowney did to wentz and they keep on winning this time they beat their rival the cowboys that one feels good you know what I'm saying? jordan love is going stupid 30 to 24 joey burrow keeps this train rolling man the jets you gotta be happy with that you get a playoff win you get some experience that's still a great season and then the browns i knew it was leading up to this broncos still a solid season damn it the packers always beat us in the playoffs but good luck against the browns i thought for sure the Bengals were going to come away with this w because they had such an incredible regular season but look at the sean watson in his first super bowl appearance burrow could not go back to back still he's easily a superstar in this league like he's easily a top five quarterback maybe even higher because you take your team to the super bowl and then the
conference championship in back-to-back -back years however you don't get it done so uh, Watson if he wins this one he's gonna have a claim to maybe the best quarterback in the league and don't sleep on Jordan Love on the other side man he's taking his team to his first Super Bowl Aaron Jones easily top three running back in his league Eagles with a nice season I would take this I would take a deep playoff run losing in the conference championship but enough chit chat let's get to the game play the Packers with two costly turnovers has them down by 11 do you see how balanced this attack is the Browns with a still nasty Kareem Hunt who's probably the best running back or, or has a case for being the best running back in the league now that he has abilities he's probably in the low 90s you know what I'm saying and you know the fact that they're running the ball just as much as they're passing with this nice lead is proven why so nice stop by this Packers defense holding them to three Jordan I'm not gonna lie a lot of people in Green Bay would love if you can put together a nice drive look at Aaron Jones tight end in motion they still have Tunyon remember the young stud they have some nice blockers they're staying true to the running game I like it across midfield and now he goes to his tight end Robert Tunyon who gets the first down nice tiptoe down the sideline they still have a very talented support cast all they need is one wide receiver to take the next step and who's to say Lazar can't do that man he's a great route runner big body you know he can do it all so I, I'm, I'm curious to see what he could do and then Tunyon taking the next step they still have Aaron Jones AJ Dillon arguably the best running back backfield besides the Browns Aaron Jones AJ Dillon where do you rank them are they in your top three backfields as Jordan Love gets the nice touchdown to Randall Cobb how the Packers get this lucky with quarterbacks like think about it they've had 30 years straight of elite Hall of Fame quarterback play since the early 90s when they had Brett Favre transitions to Aaron Rodgers and now Jordan Love has that amazing drive to get his team within one possession and look at their defense it's gonna be a huge play biggest play of the game third and ten Packers have one timeout left Watson in the pocket gonna dump it off and they stay in bounds no Njaku's shoulder pads touched out of bounds and now the Packers have the ball plenty of time but they need a touchdown Jordan Love dropping back surveying the field finding Allen Lazard for the first down Randall Kyle with eight catches 71 yards Aaron Jones out of backfield was open but he goes to Tunyon instead for another first down Jordan Love barely gets rid of it but Sammy Watkins can't get both feet in bounds it's fourth and ten biggest play of the game this is it Jordan Love going for it all there's a flag could be roughing the passer there's an interception but let's see what the call is how do you hit the quarterback if you don't touch him you guys win the game but instead the Packers are now in prime position to score oh that's not it that is not it that's a terrible play call what's going on you're forced to use a time after only getting two yards and now you just have to go for the end zone like, you can't afford to get sacked Aaron Jones in motion play action oh you you put a running back to block Clowney no way you deserve to lose how do you do not double team their best pass rusher the browns for the first time in franchise history have won the super bowl deshaun watson is now arguably the best quarterback in the league so there you have it there is season number one that's how that one comes to an end deshaun watson with a phenomenal postseason run credit to the entire team as well but kareem hunt that is only season one so let's go ahead and uh advance to season two We're gonna sim through all the draft if you're liking the video like the video oh hall of fame induction let's see who who got uh you know voted to the hall of fame marcus Ware. okay congrats my guy here we go man zach martin joe mixon's up to a 98 easily the best running back in the league but kareem hunt had a great season and if he keeps improving he will be there vita Vey, of course not too surprised right there aaron jones up to a 94 right with zeke josh jacobs and kareem hunt in that top five quarterback wise Joey Burrow is up to a 90 Herbert's an 88 second highest in the game Deshaun Watson only an 86 but the only quarterback here besides Stafford with a Super Bowl win oh yeah and of course Carson Wentz I'm just saying it's in his bio same with Jimmy G almost forgot about him as for wide receivers Jay Jettas the highest overall in the league tie with DK Amari and Michael Thomas Debo right there AJ Brown into the 90s Jamar one of the best wide receivers in the league so these guys are definitely getting better and better look at goddard second highest overall tight end in the league ty with henry right behind hawkinson look at dawson in top five yeah fryer move up to an 81 elsewhere on the field rashawn gary highest overall left outside linebacker roquan best mlb in the game josh allen from the jaguars best right outside linebacker you have humphrey as the best cornerback torrell up in the top four these young guys progressing quite nicely let's sim it to the playoffs back-to-back -back division titles for the bears justin fields 
making a name for himself in this simulation. The Niners, the Panthers, Eagles, back to back playoff appearances. For them and the Cowboys, the Saints make it this time. Packers can't make it back into the playoffs after a Super Bowl appearance. That's not good. The Seahawks make it with an under 500 record, but they get some playoff experience. You love to see it elsewhere around the NFC. The Rams don't even make the playoffs back to back seasons after making the Super Bowl and winning it. The Broncos with the one seed. What is going on over there in Denver? Look at Zach Wilson. Back to back great seasons for him and the Jets. Jaguars make it again. Bengals make it again. Titans. No King Henry. Tannehill takes them to the playoffs. You have the Dolphins with two and Waddle, all them studs over there. And then the Patriots. You know Bill Belichick was going to get them right. The Bills can't make it. Browns could not make it. So Deshaun Watson will not be going back to back in this experiment. We will have a new Super Bowl champion in season two. So a guy that no one ever heard of, Paul Weiss, uh, not a real person, leads the league in pass yards. Justin Fields, Jordan Love, Nick Mullins, and then Baker in the top five. He had a great season. Justin Fields with an MVP type performance, 45 touchdowns passing, only five interceptions. That's the best ratio in the league. Look at Carson Wentz back in the MVP conversation as well. Baker had a great year. Burrow. Jameis was on the Jets. Deshaun Watson, not the best season after winning the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts with a solid ratio, 31 to 9. Huntley threw the most interceptions this time, but it was on the Saints. Okay, him and Mullins tied with 19. Yeah, Watson hurt bow. Getting rid of the ball to the other team way too many times. He's in the top five. Mixon leads the league in rushing this time. Zeke ends up fourth behind Jacobs and Hunt. After winning the Super Bowl, he had a great year. James Robinson, 27 touchdowns to lead the league. McCrary, Nate McCrary and Joe Mixon with 23. Saquads with back-to-back -back great season. I'm happy for him. You have some young guys. Najee with a great season. And Dobbins. So the run games around the league were looking amazing. Darnell Mooney leads the league in receiving yards and touchdowns. 19. What a season by him. Van Jefferson with 16. Ridley with another solid performance. Look at Debo. Only two guys with 100 receptions this time. You have Michael Thomas and of course Darnell Mooney. What a season by him. That man just got a triple crown if I'm seeing this correctly. So he's in the discussion for uh, you know best receiver in the league because I mean you do that you're automatically in there. Vita Vea with the most tackles for a loss. You have Demario with the most tackles. Demarcus Lawrence. Six interceptions by Logan Wilson to lead the league. A lot of guys with five. Look at JLK making his presence fell. Xavier with five. All he does is cash picks. Zach McPherson taking a nice step. Justin Fields wins the second year MVP. Yeah, I, I, it looked like he was going to. I mean, the stats he had 45 to five touchdown interception ratio was crazy. Mac Jones with a nice season for the Patriots. Okay, so they have their new quarterback of the future. Baker with a bounce back career in Carolina. Drew Locke, look at these, this for MVP. Like what's going on? Kyle Allen on the Broncos. Okay, so they switched up their quarterback. This time it wasn't uh, Brett Ripien. So all he needs is a great quarterback. That's a good sign for them. Matt Stafford in the top 10 and then Jacobs. You already know what time it is. Zach Wilson, back to back seasons where he leads his team to a win in the wild card round. The Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence are gonna be their next round opponent. Man, the Bengals beat the Titans. And then on the NFC side, Justin Fields keeps this train rolling. They beat Drew Locke and the Seahawks still. Credit to the Seahawks for making the playoffs. The Saints are marching into the next round. Do not sleep on them. The Eagles back to back seasons eliminating the Cowboys. However, Justin Fields ends their run in the divisional round. 22 to 20. The Niners win 35 21 over the Saints. Trey Lance leading them to a deep playoff run. I thought it was Jimmy G. No, it's Trey Lance that's leading them. Oh, and it's Tyler Huntley. Wow. And then on the AFC side, Burrow. Bounce is back to the AFC Championship. He has an argument for the top quarterback in the league. He does. If he wins this year, because look, three years in a row getting to the AFC Championship game at least, that's insane. And then Zach Wilson, a lot of people were clowning him his rookie year, but yes, look at him now. Sir. Look at him now. He's in the AFC Championship playing against Burrow after beating Lawrence still. Jaguars get some nice experience. Look at this. It's the Jameis show. Not even Zach Wilson. Why? Wow. There's just too much going on. This is why I don't do this long videos because my train of thought is bad. Sometimes it just it could just spiral out of control. But anyways, we're trying to we're getting through it. Okay. One thing the Jets won't be getting through is the AFC Championship game though. Thirty-five to seven. Joey Burr. I had to do it that time, man. Three straight seasons getting to the AFC Championship. Two out of three. He gets to the Super Bowl. Joe Mixon has to get a lot of credit though. He is the best running back in the league by overall standards in this simulation. Jamar Chase only two for twenty-four, but even him being on the field, his presence is huge. And the Bengals are headed to the Super Bowl. Now in the NFC, the Niners are the team they're playing against. Trey Lance, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. This was a great game. Both of these.
these guys, this is the MVP versus a guy who's having an MVP type of playoff run. Debo, put respect on his name. Joe Burrow, your legacy is on the line. Will you be a John Elway type? You know, a guy who early in his career went to a lot of Super Bowls and lost them all and then came back late in his career and won one or will you finally win in your second appearance or will Trey Lance the new superstar out there in San Francisco get his first ring and bring glory to the Niners the Bengals are down 24 points now granted we've seen Burrow come back before against the Chiefs in the playoffs against Mahomes so if you can do it against them I don't care you can do it against anyone man he gets the first down Tyler Boyd remember their wide receiver core none of them were X Factor, so they still have Chase Higgins and Boyd, easily the best wide receiver core in this simulation. But look at the Niners defense, the big boy Kinlaw taking the next step into being a star. You know, the Niners have young studs all over their front seven. It's a second and 11. Burrow drop back. You need a touchdown, you need it fast. Here's a wide open guy. Higgins gets them inside the 10. Burrow dropping back, finds Jamar Chase. Clutch drive from Burrow, but you need this on size. They don't get it. The one handed, he was fancy with it that's just crazy trey sermon okay he did the lebron oh. celebration wow 11 for 106 one touchdown elijah mitchell just something low-key could the niners be considered a running back factory i mean they have frank gore okay you know what i'm saying or maybe kyle shanahan is just that nasty people just do well in the system you know it is what it is third and six they get stopped in the backfield the bengals still have life robbie gold is clutch he's him if he makes this this is a far kick this is a 59 yarder okay I jinxed him. Across midfield. Last play before the two-minute warning. This time the Niners get there. D Ford with the sack. You need a big play right here. This is a, a career-defining play. Burrow. Three straight trips. This deep in the playoffs. You can't afford to go out like this. Credit to the Niners defense. Because Burrow was on a roll. You know what I'm saying? Like, to stop him and his offense. All these weapons. Mixon. Are you kidding me? Like, wait a minute. Is it over, though? Is it over, though? Oh! Higgins almost caught that. GG's. Trey Lance and make him dance. 19 of 25, 272, two touchdowns. And the new Super Bowl champion, 49ers. He has a Super Ring. He's one of three quarterbacks in the league, in this league, with a Super Ring. Is him, Deshaun Watson, and Matt Stafford. The Niners are back on top, man. They win the second year Super Bowl. Burrow is now officially in that John Elway tier. He might have that type of career trajectory. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. Trey Lance. Wow. The young guy. Who would have thought he would be? the first quarterback in his draft class to go ahead and win the Lombardi year number three we're gonna simulate and you're gonna subscribe okay you might as well if you're watching this deep into the video we got another hall of fame induction let's see who makes it this time Delrell Revis Island let's go man happy for him one of the best cornerbacks to ever do it wow plus five demand for all stages and corners <laughs> it's gonna be clamps should we just sim all the way to the playoffs this time should we just go Burrow and the Bengals with another nice season so even though he has not won the big one, he's taking his team deep every year. Like he's having good seasons every year. Broncos, Steelers, Jets. I think Jameis is still the quarterback. I don't know. Lawrence has to be. Come on. And then the Colts make it. The Niners are going to have a chance to repeat. They make the playoffs. The Panthers, Lions, Packers, Jordan Love with another nice run. The Cowboys with the one seed Giants. And then the Rams make it for the first time since they won the Super Bowl. The Eagles miss it this time. So the NFC East sends two teams. But this time it's the Cowboys and and the Giants the Saints don't make it I think Huntley was still the quarterback Justin Fields after having the MVP performance he had last year his team doesn't make the playoffs Kyle Trask on the Bucks with the most yards in the league Ian Book okay so the Saints switched up their quarterback they went with Ian Book and he turned into a stud Justin Herbert consistently near the top in terms of passing yards Jared Goff with a nice season Trevor Lawrence of course so now I'm learning which quarterbacks are on which teams Jameis is on the Bills now Zach Wilson Jordan Love another good season trey lance he has a chance to go back to back man watson was up there in terms of passing yards lance led the league in touchdowns zach wilson gabe hawk so you're starting to mix in some guys that don't even exist but still zeke breaks the record 2412 rushing yards in one season 24 touchdowns only one fumble joe mixon naji harris because remember zeke already had the mvp didn't he win the mvp the first year he did in this simulation he won the mvp so after having what is that oh, maybe back to back as you're looking at the wire 
receiver stats. Noah Gray on the Chiefs with the most receiving touchdowns in the league. Freddie Swain, where are the wide receivers? Robbie Anderson, okay. He made it work with Baker. I see you, my guy. I'm proud of them. You know when KD was proud of Stephen A and Skip Bayless? Yeah, that, that, I'm proud of them. Patrick Queen on the Ravens leads everybody intact. Look at the Cardinals had two guys in the top three, man. We're simming straight to the Super Bowl, man. The Packers versus the Broncos. Harry Johnston. Wow, that's just very anticlimactic. That's a guy that doesn't exist. I, it would have been way better if Burrow could have redeemed himself. You know what I'm saying? You just feel bad for them to get this deep this many times and not make it. But hey, man, the Broncos are playing against Jordan Love and the Packers. It could be a third different quarterback to win the Super Bowl in this experiment. Remember, his Packers made it the first year. They lost to Deshaun Watson. Trey Lance could not go back to back, but still, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league if this was a real, you know, simulation. Because, I mean, he won the Super Bowl last year. He got his team to the NFC Championship. AJ Dillon, Aaron Jones, that backfield. I'm telling you, Packers in an early hole, man. They're down 19 to 3, but Jordan Love is fighting. Now he needs his defense to fight for him. Second and six, start of fourth quarter. Broncos with an eight point lead. Is that Javante? Oh my, Javante! What a run. Could he follow in the footsteps of other great Broncos running backs? Terrell Davis ring a bell look at this he's going stupid so he would be the story of this offense javante would get a ring in the run game of the broncos would carry them to the super bowl and then of course the young wide receiver court Cortland sutton jerry judy tim patrick very underrated those guys would now have an argument as the best wide receiver court in the league along with of course the bengals here comes the second and 11 the quarterback is gonna go down a lot of teams lost their x-factor quarterback broncos being another victim but look at that catch. Jerry Judy with the first down to keep the chains moving. Third and eight. Packers have a chance to get a big stop and they do. Jordan Love. Can you do it again? Remember, he had a nasty come from behind drive in the first Super Bowl. Let's see what he does this time. Over the middle, getting another first down is Alan Lazard. Nine of 18, 100 yards and a pick. This Broncos defense, they have so much young talent, especially in the secondary. And remember that Revis boost? So think about the Broncos secondary right there. They get a nice pass breakup. That's either Sertain, that's uh, one of those young guys over there. Don't they still have dark? Well, you know, the team probably looks a lot different. This is year three of the simulation as Love gets hit while he throws it he can't afford to not keep the chains moving aaron jones still at running back love winding it up going deep into triple coverage great defense fourth and ten interception by the broncos patrick certain looking like a young champ bailey and the broncos are your third super bowl winners javante in that run game combined with the wide receivers judy made big plays and of course patrick certain in that defense making big plays when they needed to still the Packers gotta be proud jordan love just continuing the streak of good quarterback play in green bay if you guys enjoyed this video you know what to do destroy the like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you on the next one